All right, we're back at it again. Uh, this is another weight loss journey update. Gone already past a 90 day, no fat mark. Lost one pound, so I went from 273 to 270, which is good. And uh, I'm under the weather a little bit, so I may come across a little lower energy than I was yesterday. Uh, even though at that time, I was probably starting to feel it start to come on at the time. So, one of the important things that I'd like to share about losing weight is the nutritional aspect. And one mistake that I made when I started out eating differently, when I started using my fitness pal to track my calories, is that I would be on point for five days out the week. And then Saturday and Sunday, I kind of would like kind of, kind of be careful, but not really. And that's where you get messed up because if you eat the right amount of calories every day, Monday through Friday, and then you go ham on Saturday and Sunday, and it's very easy to go ham on Saturday and Sunday. If you do that, <coughs> you can inadvertently eat back the calorie deficit you created during the week. It is very hard to eat in a way that creates a calorie deficit alone. My personal thing is this, is that I don't want to use any kind of calorie deficit I could create from working out to be the difference maker for how I eat. And so you could be Let's say your resting calories is like 2,000 calories a day. And I'm just using easy numbers. Your resting calorie consumption that you burn on your own, let's say that's 2,000. So that's 14,000 calories Monday through Sunday. 2,000 times 2 times 7 is 14. 2,000 times 7 is 1,400, right? I think my math adds up or 14,000, 14,000, okay? So it takes about 3,500 calories to burn one pound of fat. So if my resting calorie burning rate is 2,000 calories and I eat 1,500 calories, I'll be in deficit of 500 calories, so let's multiply that by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 2,500 calories in deficit if I eat 1,500 calories a day based on my resting calorie burning rate of 2,000 calories. That's still not a pound of fat. So you mean to tell me I can be in a deficit of 2,500 calories Monday through Friday and still still not be in deficit <coughs> so let's add Saturday and Sunday so Saturday I eat 1500 calories Sunday I eat 1500 calories so now you got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 35 3500 calories is the amount of calories it takes to burn one pound of fat so if you eat 1,500 calories a day, considering that your resting metabolic rate is 2,000 calories, you're gonna be in a deficit of 500 calories or 3,500 calories. Because now you're doing five times seven. Five times seven is 35, so five, 500 times seven is 3,500. No, 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 no. Five, times 7 is 35 50 times 7 is what 350 so 500 times 7 will be 3500 let's do the math 5 10 15 20 25 25 30 35 3500 calories but if you eat on point and you're in a calorie deficit of 20, do you know how easy it is to just scoop up 2,500 calories in one in one meal extra from the soda, from the drinks? 
all that stuff. And that's why it's important to be on point with your food every day of the week. And I struggle with it because Sunday is like my cooking day and it's very easy to taste and try. You got all this food going on and you want to taste. You can eat, it really eat all your calories up just by tasting it all. So I'd rather be twofold. I'd rather do things that help me burn calories during the week and I'm still in baby step mode with jumping jump rope. But <laughs> if I know that I could generate 3,500 calories in theory, then that's going to help me closer to losing more weight each week. Now imagine doing that for three months. So if I and this is just math numbers, but th th these math numbers aren't necessarily had to be fact, they can be guide points. So if I did 3,500 calories in deficit for four weeks, that's four pounds of fat. Four pounds of fat. And then you do another month, another month, four pounds, that's eight pounds, and another month, that's 12 pounds. And if you're anything like me, you got 70 plus pounds to lose. So that's why it's so hard to lose weight because by nature, by natural state, you can you can lose four pounds in a month. <coughs> you can lose four pounds in a month. But that's four minus 70. So if you got four minus 70, you still got 66 pounds to go because 66 plus four is 70. So as you can see, it's very challenging to eat in a deficit without really training, without practice, without really focusing on your food and making sure you're doing everything you can do to eat in a deficit. That's why it's very easy to have stuff to snack on. I'll be the first person to want to have stuff to snack on, chips, some dip. It's all there. It's like a food drug. But man, it's like I'm almost 40. So it's like, yo, I really want this done. I was supposed to have this done at 30. <coughs> And I didn't know a fraction of what I know now. You understand what I'm saying? So that's a very humbling thing. So that's why it's very important to eat and track your calories seven days a week, a month in, month. it has to be your lifestyle. If sitting down and watching TV could be your lifestyle, then track it. Like I said, everybody has a lifestyle that they develop over the years as an adult. What do you do when you go home? Do you sit down on the couch and turn on Netflix and watch a few episodes of your favorite show or... Maybe call somebody on the phone or maybe play a video game. That's a lifestyle thing. I want, you know, since I don't have too much <coughs> going on with me personally, lifestyle wise, I, I feel like what is the best thing I can do in my time? It's focus on this. So I'm going to focus on this. And it's inconvenient because, you know, you want to, um, you want to enjoy the food. You want to enjoy what you're doing. You know, you know, you know, you know, you feel some type of way when you see some blue lights come on behind you. So I thought, like, oh boy. So, you know, that's an important thing. So I, I wanted to share that information with you. That your nutrition comes first. You can work out, do all the stuff in the gym, and you can work hard. I think you, I think you got that. And I'll be the first to say I'm not good at working out hard in the gym. I got started, and then I got sidetracked by gigging. But one thing I can control is what I put in my mouth, nutritional-wise. And that's going to help me get this thing forward. But I got to stick with it. I got to stick with it. So I hope that helps. One pound down. Still got a long way to go to get to even 230. But I'm, I'm on the way. All right, I'll see y'all.